Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in this short video, let's try to understand the concept of void pointer. We will see what is void pointer, why they are used and some of the applications of void pointer. To understand the difference between null pointer and void pointer, you can simply remember that null pointer deals with the value of the pointer and void pointer deals with its type. If we talk about various primary data types provided by C, void is one among them. We use void type normally as a return type of a function that does not provide a result value to its caller function. And with regards to the pointer, we use void type to declare a universal pointer, which can point to any data type. Let's see how this universal pointer works. Let's define three different objects. A character, an integer variable and a character array of 10 bytes. If we try to print the memory occupied by each of this object, we will get they occupy different size in the memory. A character variable takes 1 byte, an integer variable takes 4 bytes and the character array will occupy 10 bytes which is as expected. Now let's try one more experiment where we try to print different types of pointer size. Since pointer stores the base address of any given object irrespective of its type, the size of the base address will always be same. Hence the memory occupied to store a pointer variable will always be same. With this we can also conclude the size occupied by a void pointer will also be of 8 bytes. So in summary, a void pointer is a generic or universal pointer, means it has no associated data type. It can hold the base address of an object of any data type. And to access the value, it can be typecasted to another type. Let's see this with an example. Declaring and referencing void pointer is same as for any other pointer variable. For example, here I have declared a void pointer vptr and reference it to a character variable. However, a void pointer doesn't know which type of object it is pointing to. So it cannot be directly dereference. Rather, a void pointer must be typecasted before dereferencing it. So let's see how to typecast a void pointer to another type. In this example, first I have reference void pointer to point to a character variable and then by char star I am typecasting the void pointer to character pointer and the outer star is to access the value of it. Similarly, in the same example below I have reference and dereference the void pointer to integer and then float variable. Void pointer are very helpful to implement generic library functions. For example, if you see the declaration of malloc function, it returns void pointer. In application during memory allocation, it is our responsibility to typecast the return pointer type to appropriate type. So friends, here we come to end of this video. I frequently make such informative videos. Consider subscribing my channel for all future updates. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.